so here's my uh, my situation. I have the AI engine here, and this mounts on this slide system, which goes in and out of the trays, which uh, can do the seeding and harvesting and looking at different plants. So this AI system uh, fits on the bottom of it, and underneath that uh, of the of the slide. And underneath that is this robot, and this is the mount system for the robot, and that goes, attaches here so that the robot hangs upside down, this robot arm hangs upside down from the slide trays. And so I've got the positioning system working, uh, that's the light and a um, square here that tells me how far away this, this is. So that's all working. The, the actual recognizing of the position, but now I need the robot arm to be able to position itself, especially when it first starts. I can't have it sideways, because if I have this robot sideways, it's uh, when it goes in and out of the tray, it'll break, because it'll hit on, on these particular poles. So here, I'm gonna fire up Hal, and when I do, um, first thing it's gonna do, there's kind of a, um, place where the robot goes to begin with and that's not where I want it to go because if that moves in and out of the tray you can see it sideways it'll hit the, the, the bars so after about five seconds uh, I have this pulse that comes in and says hey reposition this to uh, that particular position so here's all the robot arm positioners right here and if I start it up again, let's see here, I can show you the schematic that uh, does the uh, actual resetting of the position to the center. And it's this one right here. This little control over here, what this does is it can take an input from a different computer and then send a pulse you know, hey, do this, send a pulse through, like flipping a switch on, to these three which are connected to that schematic I showed you before. So at the beginning, if I click on this, you can see that there's, it's set for five seconds. I'm not 100% sure that I'm seeing this on the smartphone, but there it is, it sets it for five seconds. And after five seconds, the this switch that says, turn this on, goes through these, and then these go through, the, it goes through these three, which rotates the base and the center uh, ones right here and here, and the base to be pointing straight ahead. And if you can see, it is pointing straight ahead so that it won't run into the uh, these guys right here. So that, that seems to be all working. So my next step is to go ahead and uh, um, input uh, positions where I want the robot to be pointing at. I'm going to have magnetic strips uh, down on the trays themselves and that'll tell me whether or not this position of this head is positioned properly so it knows where to seed and knows where to uh, to harvest uh, plants. So it's getting there and that's it.